Technically, by university degree, I'm a reporter, and there's a man who's been stalking me with his little faggot friends on campus, and that man's name is Jamie. And anytime you mention the man's name Jamie on my video channel, in any jest or any way, he shows up to show himself off in a stalking fashion. I'm not a gay man, and I'm not interested in his idea that he can call me a bitch or a lesbian, because look at me. I got a fucking beard, thank you very much, and I had a wife for 20 years. That man's never done one fucking thing right in his life. But he's stolen my thumb drives, he's stolen my intellectual property, and the police do nothing about it. They allowed a black boy to beat me up on campus, and my guess is he put him on it. Or maybe he did Kevin, maybe he did masterful Bob who stands out in front of the Target shop in the Taco Bell, Taco Shop, whatever the hell it's called, and eats his way through McDonald's. But openly, what I was told by Bones was that he's marvelously into alcohol. But a guy like me who's trying to move his life forward is always being pissed on by somebody in a shop. An interesting thing about Mexicans and other people who are here illegally is they like to put a legal name of a company on their Wi-Fi networks of their phone so they can play around on our technology. What I'm proving in America is that technology companies or corporate companies or company employees are illegally monitoring and hacking your phone.